Hi, I've got my copy of Home Designer Pro 2019 open. You go to the uh, window category. I've got my icon set to uh, child. So when I click on the main icon, I get the choices over here. It's a setting and edit preferences. Edit preferences. And right here, toolbars, right here under appearance, toolbars, child tool palette, and child tool palette. But just my preference. I didn't want to confuse you with that. Now, you can see the choices here. There's a regular window, but you, once you place it, like you're used to, you open the dialog box, and there's other types of windows that you can change it to but none of them are a bow window, as you've already probably surmised. <clears throat> That's why these other tools exist. This tool here is a bay window. Just go left click, and there's a bay window. And you left click on it, and it's got handles to resize it. I generally try to prefer to draw these uh, manually myself but that's just again that's just a preference now there's a bay, bay window <clears throat> here's a box window oops didn't mean to create a second one i'm going to get rid of the bay and again this one has handles where you can resize it now the tricky part on these uh, specialized kind of windows if you want to alter these windows, you have to click, left click, hit the tab key or the next button, and then it selects a window, which you can then open and change change it to some degree. Okay. And delete the window. But the, the rest of, of it stays. I'm going to delete the whole thing. And then the next one is the bow window, the one you're interested in. It just clicks and it creates a uh, default window. Now, of course, like other type windows, it's got a dialog box with an options tab. <clears throat> and you know you can make some refinements and changes. It's a pre-programmed symbol sort of an object, so that you can't customize it as much as you can if you were going to draw the thing uh, manually. So I, I think your picture showed a, just a, a very slight bow. But you can manipulate this and change the uh, dimensions on it and so forth. And then there's the uh, pass-through tool. Basically just puts a hole in the wall. And a niche tool. <clears throat> Let's take a look at those. There's a pass-through and just puts a, a cased opening in, in, in a wall, whether an exterior wall or an interior wall. There's a niche and it creates a partial indention in the wall, which is, again, has a dialog box which you can resize and change the materials of and that sort of thing. So that's pretty much your window tools. <clears throat> and that should address your question that you posed on uh, Home Talk. Hope this helps you out. Thank you. Merry Christmas.